emotions as a resource one of the most uh, precious yet underrated things that we have mm-hmm. uh is our internal system actually telling us or guiding us what to do now i can imagine that this might sound a bit uh, hokey pokey okay. but it's actually understanding uh where your emotions are coming from and how they actually um each emotion that you experience actually pushes you to do something like for example anger the, the, and i think one of the first things that we need to understand is that a lot of people like to um dissect or segregate emotions as good emotions and bad emotions and that's a bit unfortunate because uh, we lose that entire perspective that each emotion is actually pushing you in 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 um, primitive terms survive anger is pushing you to to go forward and do something either put a boundary with somebody who's overstepping it or pushing you to fight back um tears emotions it is it's like the soul trying to ventilate so the whole act of crying actually has a, a relieving effect on a body that's grieving so each emotion that you experience whether difficult or um let's call it joyful you know they all serve a purpose to help your functioning um and um so that that's that's the bit as as the just like you know emotions can they all serve a purpose and even when we see emotions in others we we always want to you know uh, either get difficult uh, have difficulty in 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 responding to someone else's emotions or working through our own emotions a lot far too many people actually suppress them and uh, i would consider that as wasting one of those um, useful resources that you have have you seen the movie inside out i have that's also about emotions isn't it it is Unfortunately I wasn't able to see right through till the end but I intend to okay. but I must have seen it in college I'm sure but my memory it escapes me but it's where the little ones are yeah, in the yeah, little girls yeah constant uh, uh conversations in in um, I mean amongst them and you know I I had a I had a very different kind of um uh, uh thought process when I was watching the movie and then in the end which I'm not going to tell you the spoiler it, it really changed the way I uh, saw things So, yeah. it's uh how one takes over and the other is i i, I briefly remember how, and i i rem- inside out is a very uh, popular you know um medium a wonderful art actually where mm. a lot of people got the point in some sense mm. so they started seeing uh, emotions and how um right from the time when it's a baby and then new emotions keep popping up of sorts and then one thing actually that uh, uh, I personally use a lot in my sessions when I work with children or when I work with uh, adults we have something called the wheel of emotions it's mm-hmm. it's, it's it's a pdf that you can um freely access on on uh, on on the website um there are lots of emotions tons you would actually be surprised um uh, when you see that wheel on the first look it's quite overwhelming because you know you have its concentric circles mm. and then you have the middle one which is the basic and then each pie of those are like sort of they they go into furthermore and i did not know i had so many and i you know what sorry i'm breaking your thought process but no no, no i'm like yeah. uh i've i've seen it i'm not really certain um if you're talking about the same one but the amount of emotions i've seen i can't for the life of me pinpoint what exact type that i'm feeling at the moment unless i take a deep dive so um even how we show up as parents the the dialogue within um i, I know i'm i'm going back to the topic and that's the same thing as emotions as well i i got to be honest i don't have that much time to self reflect because i think self awareness is key to understanding this mm. um and what's the point in me communicating to my partner or to my child if i myself don't know where i stand if somebody were to give you uh, some options of words would you be able to connect with those words uh when it, when it comes to uh, finding out the emotion identifying your emotion would you be able to say i'm feeling guilty or depressed or like so especially when i work with men this is the thing um and there's a lot of research to back this up right so when i work with men how do you feel it's either i'm okay i'm fine or it's fine you know but 
these words usually you let it go you know you let it slide but when this becomes a habit you actually explore what is okay is it i'm struggling i'm burnt out i'm and and these are also options so you know you 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 really try to tap in so when it comes to men they they of the three concentric circles they use words that's from the center which mm. are what kids children use mm. but when you go uh, when you ask a lady that even without looking at the wheel they'll pick the ones outside right uh and 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 i don't want to be gender like stereotypical but most often that's what i've seen knowing to identify emotions not only helps you you know your your standing up your voicing out your sharing it also helps the communication process between you and your partner mm. your 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 wife or your husband gets to know what exactly you're feeling like for example i was i was working with another client where the wife kept saying i'm feeling sad i'm feeling sad and the husband just didn't understand what what like in fact it would annoy him it would become a trigger point when it's quite unfortunate when you want empathy but that becomes like a reason for a person to lead away even more but i didn't realize the power of this tool and i swear i use it a lot more it's very simple and very basic and i use it a lot more than many of the other measurements but she saw this and she actually started using words that were a little more descriptive mm-hmm. and she said guilt i feel guilt and that Im- almost immediately brought back in the husband because he's familiar with that feeling he knows in his own sense how powerful that ca- that feeling can get mm-hmm. and immediately connected with what the struggle was so you see when you're able to identify the feeling within yourself and share it it's 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 um uh it fills a huge void when it comes to you living in coexistence with things around you people around you right so i i for those who struggle with um managing emotions or you know there are a lot of words that are thrown about freely emotional regulation emotional intelligence so it comes to if you will allow yourself time to sit with difficult feelings it it really does come to that and um if you can give yourself feeling will you actually take the time to inform you allow it to inform you in a constructive way then going down the spiral or ruminating how will you allow that process that's, that's a question how will we allow that process because um this is just for the sake of argument him it's not necessarily my take okay uh when someone has something that's bothering them they wouldn't want to go there they wouldn't want to go into the darkness and find a way out they would rather stay away from that place i know i know by doing this what's what's happening is you're not solving any problem you're just pushing it away or you're just bottling it up or probably even building it and having a lot more other things um take place because of bottling that feeling and not exploring what exactly is but sometimes it's far easier and uh, i'm talking about to me a few years ago um i you had no idea i would never want to go to that place not anymore um i i i try i'm not i'm not saying i've come up i come out successfully out of that i i still try and it's it's a long process but i'm not afraid to getting there again uh but there are you know it's it's uh, and let me let me give you an analogy it's like this I would not go to the doctor because he's going to tell me not to play football because I injured my leg. So that's for me that's the thing. I don't want to go to the doctor because it might be this. So let's not go to the doctor. It's like the ostrich policy. There's danger, let's stick our head under the sand and hope everything goes all well. It's it's very difficult to face what we don't like. It's very difficult to go through that conversation. It's like reliving. It's like it's like a trigger. Maybe maybe in uh, there are there's certain things that happened and you've moved on not moved on per se you've uh, moved on without uh oh, what's the word 
moved on without um without closure or just escaped i would say from that situation you wouldn't want to go back and confront it so uh why would anyone want to do that i love this question to be honest because avoidance is um becomes a coping mechanism it's like your best coping mechanism it's like you are in control why would i want to pass on something that i'm in control that's keeping me secure but again at the end of the day that's that's what it is a coping mechanism the and as you rightly put and i love the <laughs> example that you put i'm not go- not going to the dis- doctor because i know what's going to be prescribed you have an inkling of what's in there but this is what i come to is the threat real is the is that dire feeling of confrontation of shame of vulnerability is it really that threatening and you will never really get to know you will not get to know the depths of your weaknesses perhaps unless you go there and it takes a huge amount of courage no one's going to question that i am going to share this though for some it's easy for some it's not and that spectrum exists because of some of those beliefs for example as a person who wants to dive at the deep end of the pool it's 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 also i mean it's the same depth perhaps for two people who's um diving in it's the same but the way they perceive it might be different there is this very interesting theory called threat versus challenge when a stress comes up a person who has an internal locus of control meaning uh, he or she believes in their capacities more than the what is scary out there they will tend to see it as an opportunity the stress for those who have an external locus of control saying that um the wind was too fast or it was a rainy day or i don't have luck this is called external locus of control when they external what locus of control okay so when they have an external locus of control they count on external factors they 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 credit external factors far more than their own self belief of what they 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 are capable of of it's 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 not that it doesn't exist they just see that far more and um it's like you know driving in the in the fog you kind of place your bets on how well you're driving you know you're not, not using your phone you're paying attention your headlights are on you're in your track you're trying your best to be in your track but the other person might be like oh no um my, my tires are going to break or my brake is going to stop working so if you could have a little bit of faith in what you your learning curve towards um conquering that weakness not to sound dramatic but if you go there once then you perhaps will learn that it's it's not as scary it's not as shame is okay vulnerability not in front of others perhaps to yourself is okay um and the true cost is on people around them than the same person um uh, there is this wonderful book called attached which talks about how um there are different attachment styles where a person has either an avoidant or an anxious attachment style or an anxious avoidant attachment style lots of attachment theories that are there but how people show up in relationships when they have opposing attachment styles and how that vulnerability cycle sort of um becomes like a catch 22 where one fuels the other the more one wants want to stay the the more the other will want to go away mm-hmm. so it's it's um if you can face inward what is scaring you perhaps you will have a different relationship with growth learning and uh, self awareness